What's the dumbest thing you've seen your smartest friend do? Friend got into Cambridge. GF got into Oxford. Both decided to go to their second choice to be together. Broke up after about a year. Clearly they didn't go for game theory. He was meeting me 1.5 hours out of town with his GF fling. He got on the interstate and started driving. He called me after 2 hours of driving and asked where the place was. You mean, you're not using GPS I asked. He was blindly driving north. Why, when the destination was due east. He arrived after a 6 plus HR drive with a very upset female in the car. He's a brilliant guy but lacks in common sense and intuition. Also missing a map. Truly academically brilliant, Yale, Cambridge, and Harvard degrees, gave his social security number when the IRS called him, Hind, low wiss incarnate. I hear the IRS never calls, they send letters. Wears the same underwear for a month, washes his clothes once a month and says it's because he doesn't want to spend money on water, but buys only Fiji water bottles. Had a friend that missed out on 5 free questions on a test. The questions would go something like this. The answer to this problem is. A. Not this one. B. Nope. Move along. C. This one is correct. D. Go back up. He got super mad. And walked out of the classroom after he found out he got those wrong. He enables his grown children to continue to mooch off him. I understand unconditional love. But this kind of love will hurt his kids eventually. They need to be the grown adults that they are. Suffer the consequences of debt or stop going to exotic locations for vacation three times a year and actually pay their own rent instead. This kind of love will hurt his kids eventually. Absolutely. Teaching people to become dependent and not understand the value of things ends up horribly. I was dating someone shockingly brilliant. He had multiple patents by the time we were 18. So smart. So silly at times. Once, he went to a vending machine. Put his money in. No soda came out. He put more money in. Two sodas came out. He was thrilled that he got two sodas for the price of one and told a group of us all about it. It took a bit to explain how he was wrong. Those little details of life confounded him. To be fair, he did get two sodas for the price of one soda. He just also got no sodas for the price of one soda from the very same machine. Had a super intelligent friend decide that he could help this girl get off M. They dated. He now does M. Lost his job, house, and now they just kinda crash at other druggy houses. Crystal pistol strikes again. I had a conversation with a friend many years ago, whom I considered, and still do, to be intelligent, well read, world wise and thoughtful. This conversation centered around his assertion and absolute belief that a human I could not see anything further than roughly 2 miles away. He would not be dissuaded from this stance by any question I asked of him, trying to understand if he meant being able to resolve details, or what. No, he was convinced that 2 miles was the limit and anything beyond that was imperceptible to human vision. When I asked him how far away the moon is, he changed the subject and we never spoke of it again. It was quite surreal. Moon. He scoffs at sunscreen and uses tanning beds, even though his father died of skin cancer and he is paranoid about having cancer himself. Seriously, why? Haha <laughs> that's just like my friend who doesn't take care of himself even though he's petrified of Alzheimer's, cancer, diabetes, and everything else that runs in his family. Wait no that's me. TL. DR. At the bottom cause this got really long oops. Okay so a friend of mine in high school was quite literally the smartest guy I've ever met. Valedictorian. Could solve the toughest physics problems in his sleep. His one weakness was that he was also the dumbest guy I've ever met. He had absolutely no common sense. But all the book smarts to make up for it. Don't get me wrong. He was a super great guy. Just really dumb sometimes. Not the dumbest thing he's ever done. But definitely the funniest. So he had a squash in calculus for some reason. He needed for an earlier class project. But he decided to bring it to calc and set it on his desk because he didn't want it to get lonely in his locker. Cue a fire drill. Everyone evacuating. Etc. After standing outside for a good minute or so while everyone else filed out. Our room was nearest to the exit. He gives a gasp so dramatic you might have thought he'd be clutching his pearls and he whisper shouts. 
Oh my god my squash and just about the most defeated white girl voice you've ever heard. So what does he do? He speed walks back inside. Which, might I add, his speed walking is eerily similar to a 58 year old man's version of a speed walk. Retrieves his squash, and speed walks back out to where our class of 16 is standing in the grass. Clutching the poor thing like it was a small child and not, in fact, a vegetable. When we got back inside all of 5 minutes later, our teacher asked him why he went back inside. As a school wide policy, even in drills, you aren't allowed to go back inside or you risk major punishment. But this teacher was pretty chill, just confused. His reply, I didn't want it to burn. TL, DR, brings a squash to class. Forgets squash inside during a fire drill, risks possible suspension in order to keep the squash from burning. This is just funny, too self aware of how stupid it is to actually call stupid. Get addicted to Xanax, among other things, and ruin her near full ride academic scholarship. Pretty sure she works at Jimmy John's now. This sounds like a lot of people I know. She insists that since hot water freezes faster than cold water, then cold water has to boil faster than hot water. It takes her forever to make spaghetti. My sister, top of her class, published poet, full ride to a good university, had a meltdown one day because she found out that buffalo wings didn't come from actual buffaloes. Turns out she thought they were vestigial this whole time, floating around in there like little whale hips. 10 stroke 10 book smarts, 4 stroke 10 street smarts. Better not tell her about chicken of the sea. I had a friend in high school, before every kid had cell phones, who was telling me about something cool on her dresser. I asked her really, hold your phone up to it so I can see it. I listened to her fiddling around on the other end of the line for a few seconds before she realized that's not how phones work and tried to play it off like she didn't just point a landline at her. Dresser. She was ahead of her time. Take a pair of scissors to my friend's $500 graphics card. I didn't see it because he did it before I knew him, but he told me he did this and his friend confirmed. This is a story I heard from a college roommate, who grew up in Omaha. His high school classmate was driving one weekend from Omaha to Kansas City. Geographically, she needed to cross the Missouri River into Iowa. Then turned south on I-29 and that would take her all the way there. When she hit I-29, she accidentally turned north instead of south. She didn't realize her mistake until she made it all the way to North Dakota. Her reasoning, when she hit South Dakota, that proved to her that she was still traveling south. We order hot chocolate at a restaurant. It was served with whipped cream on top. Buddy ate some, some melted, leaving a small plop on one side of the cup. He proceeds to take a sip and spills hot chocolate all over himself. The rest of us are like, the freak? He said he was trying to get the last bit of whipped cream. But instead of turning the cup 180 degrees, he tried to get it by going over the hot chocolate. Bad papa. My best friend used to be my smartest friend. But wrong decision after wrong decision has had her falling in ranks and now I consider her one of my dumbest friends. She went from being an IB student with a full ride softball scholarship to now XH user with a felony arrest and one year old kid she can't afford. So, I'd say drugs are not a good decision if you're not safe with them or using them for the wrong reasons. Some drugs, I don't know and have never heard of somebody doing H and it being a good decision. Took a cake out of the oven without gloves on because she knew the cake would be hot but didn't think the pan would be. A plus side to the event is she can get away with anything now. No fingerprints. I know how the fingerprint thing goes. It happened to me when I worked at a restaurant and picked up some dishes that had just come out of an industrial washer. Matched with a girl on Tinder. She was advertising her private Snapchat. He followed up on it. She offered a $300 diamond package where she'd hook up with you. He jumped at the chance. Obviously she was hustling him. He's been trying to get his money back for 3 weeks. Okay but how is he smart because like. He's a doctor who is almost anti-vax. His kids are vaccinated. But he's telling them that they may not want to get their kids vaccinated. I hate it so much. Because he should be too smart to fall for this garbage. That's really disappointing. Stay at a job that was demanding every bit of his sanity because he wanted to be challenged. Bruh, you're being hurt not helped. 
I spent some weeks at a renovation job this summer. Now I understand why the nurses at the diabetes center warned me against longer exposure to the sun and in scheduled breaks. At least my academic career is safe. Was flying home to visit his family during the holiday season. San Francisco to Chicago, SFO comma ord. He didn't realize he failed. Numerous times, through two layovers, until he arrived at Norfolk, Virginia. Off. Ended up driving solo 15 hours in a rental car since he couldn't find flights to fix his fuck up. And no, we never let him forget it. Last year for his birthday he got a postcard from Norfolk and a membership to Battleship Wisconsin. Abuse pills because he can't sleep. They have steadily worsened his quality of sleep and he takes crazy amounts each day. I mean, it is dumb. There's no denying that. But when my insomnia was at its worst, I would have tried just about anything. Not only was my critical thinking compromised, but the need for relief gets so intense that anything that gives even momentary respite seems worth it. Friend of mine was a card carrying Mensa genius. Type of guy who read the encyclopedia from cover to cover just for recreation, and made corrections in the margins. He married an absolutely hellacious of a woman who made his life so completely miserable. He was actually glad to hear he had cancer. That's the true power of loneliness, I guess. Once had my smartest friend ask if Island had internet and could get emails. When we just stared at her blankly she clarified that she meant, could someone in Ireland send email to the US. Thank god she clarified that. Tie between order a $100 sushi boat, delivery, to eat almost all by himself, or waiting so late to find housing after his junior year. He had to live secretly and against policy in my dorm room for the week between semester end and graduation. Or taking up to 10 classes a semester, with more conflicts than a time turner could solve, because he could pass them and his counselor was laissez-faire absentee. Very smart friend of mine continues to pine after a woman who hasn't loved him in 5 years. He keeps chugging along, pretty much ruining any chance to cultivate new relationships because he compares everyone to her. And none of them get it right as he says. He's incredibly intelligent and often the person I go to for advice for everything. But the guy won't move on. They aren't even on speaking terms right now but still he holds hope that one day she realizes that they're meant to be. I once watched my roommate put an oven mitt on his left hand. Use that hand to open the oven. And grab a pan of tater tots with his right hand. He's an engineer, a whiz with computer programming, but not the warmest heating element when it comes to household appliances. I did a similar thing. My mom was going to remove a rack in the oven after it was preheated, so I stopped her and told her to wear oven mitts. I was wearing an oven mitt, so I remove the hot rack with the gloved hand and pass it to my ungloved right hand. My sister wouldn't let me forget it for a month. I was telling him about a time when I got into a wreck by backing into a pole. He, half listening, asked me, was it your fault? The pole jumped in your way, you know it did. Got into a great school but quit to maintain a relationship with a girl in our hometown. The relationship didn't last. I lost touch with him a long time ago but I don't think he's done much with his life since then. One of my younger friends, early 20s moved in with her boyfriend of 6-7 months and they bore two puppies. This guy recently freaked out that she made her profile picture on Facebook a picture of the two them together and then only relented when she agreed not to tag him in the picture. It wasn't a funny or embarrassing photo. It was one they posed for together that his mom took of them, I think. My ex was like that about social media when we lived together. He was cheating. Dated a stripper with a less than okay history. He expected her to be different with him, but she was not. After her, he dated another girl that didn't work out, and just recently he was talking with a girl who he was head over heels for. He went online and seen her doing a live stream, which is innocent, but he clicked on it to watch, and she was being asked to get nude. She said no, but not because of the budding relationship, it was because her sister was in the room. So, yeah, he's a super smart dude, with dumb taste in chicks. Have a life changing epiphany that when we run we have both feet in the air for brief spurts at a time and start running around our town market in broad daylight screaming it's true. It's true while staring intently at his feet. Two minutes earlier, 
he was asking me what the difference was between a marathon and race walking and I told him that in race walking, they aren't allowed to have both feet off the ground simultaneously, that is, one foot must be alternatively be planted at all times, and he answered with a stunned look but that's how we run all the time, right, cut to him taking off at speed trying to prove his point and instead making this delightful discovery, science won that day. Not any small random thing but I basically saw two extremely talented individuals completely frick up their lives. Two guys, we'll call them T and BK. Both got 5s on all their APs, even AP Chem and AP Physics, and straight as. The kicker is they never, ever, studied or did homework, at all, ever, and still got all as. They cold both gone on to easily get masters or PhDs. Me, my posse, and those two went to the same local state university BTW after high school. T went for biochem and gave up two years in because he has an undiagnosed sleeping disorder. He one time fell asleep on a public toilet for four hours straight. I know for a fact he has good medical insurance under his parents and literally will not see a doctor about it. For absolutely no reason at all. He now does community college and probably is failing it. BK failed each and every class first semester because he didn't want to do anything. He became a drug dealer buying drugs off the deep web. He got screwed in a control delivery and the FBI raided his house. It's weird when a bunch of us from HS started at uni. 10 total. And one by one everyone dropped like flies until the last three. Me and two close friends. Are the only ones left and getting their degrees. Got a full 4 year ride to college and was then caught at the end of senior year of high school at an underage drinking party. Scholarship got pulled but her parents went and did a tap dance and got it reinstated. Less than 1 week after the reinstatement, she got arrested for public intoxication. Goodbye scholarship. I don't think the thought process used was the dumbest I've heard, but the end result probably makes it the dumbest move. We had found a whole bunch of 2 and 3 liters behind a grocery store in the dumpsters. My friend took a metal baseball bat, swung at the soda bottle, and got the bat back smacked in his face. He had to go to the hospital and get stitches. Got the job she always wanted, and a cushy one at that. She could have worked there for the rest of her life, and probably retired early. Instead she decided that making a lot of money meant she could do whatever she wanted including screw off at the job paying her all the money. She proceeded to document this self-destruction on all her social media, none of which was private. She lost the job, and to continue her streak of stupidity she doesn't realize we all saw her behavior on social media, and know she's lying to us when she says it wasn't her fault she lost her job. A medical student friend of mine who did extremely well in his classes, exams and was very well spoken didn't know how surge protectors worked and unfortunately fried his PC, gaming consoles, Wi-Fi router and everything else plugged into a socket when a lightning strike vaporized a pole near his house and everything that wasn't unplugged. Surge protectors are designed to protect against small surges in power like how the box in your home trips when it detects a surge. They are not designed to hold back the wrath of Thor. Hoping your tiny surge protector will save you is like hoping your cardboard shield is going to protect you against a tank firing its main armament at you, point blank, and out in the open. I have a friend who uses more syllables than I can count for half of what he says and one day something possessed him to convince a teacher that Shrek is love. Shrek is life is just a wholesome video about someone who likes Shrek. She then played this video, on the smart board, to the entire class. Okay but that's not a dumb thing that's hilarious. Instead of putting her paycheck inside the canister in the drive through bank, she put it underneath it like it was a paperweight. True it was her first time using the drive through but really, of course, the teller picked up the canister and shook it at her whilst looking at her through the window. We went inside and apparently it got trapped inside the machine and eventually came up with another canister later in the day. My buddy half drunkenly dropped his camera in the sand picked it up and decided I need to clean this and dunked it in the ocean. This isn't the stupidest thing, but I still think it's very funny. I went to college in Maine, when it was a foggy night and the wind was right. The odor of the pepper mill would be strong all over campus. My absolutely brilliant boyfriend said one night, um, smells like cream of broccoli soup I sarcastically agreed. Months later, 
Despite smelling the smell from other factories in other places in the state, it turned out he really thought it was a cream of broccoli soup factory. Which why? And how would a factory only make cream of broccoli soup? Is that a primary industry in Maine? Also, it doesn't smell that much like cream of broccoli soup and smells kinda gross. Also, why? So after that, my friend group always called it the cream of broccoli soup factory. A couple years later, my newer, very smart, very sarcastic, so you think he'd pick up on these things. Boyfriend was present when my roommate explained to someone else why we always called it the cream of broccoli soup factory. My boyfriend got really pale. He then started yelling, but you always call it that. Why would anyone know? The only paper mill I've ever smelled literally made me gag. It was freaking atrocious. Not so much a friend but a girl I knew got pregnant at 18. She was a classmate and she told me she though douching prevented pregnancy. This was in 2008. I actually have multiple friends from high school that didn't transition well into having freedom in college. They just got really into drinking, weed, and partying. They had great futures and made great grades, and I actually thought a bunch of them were mature beyond their years. But they never had the ability to admit that they had a problem. Party their first few college years away, and that was that. They either got kicked out and just left. To any high school kids out there about to graduate, don't get too wild. It's okay to have fun, but know what your priorities are. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.